dreamt that I was in a vast wasteland. I was searching for the keys to my locker together with the, with Jenny from high school. We laughed and dug in the sand. Suddenly the sky lit up and Jenny pointed to a simple constellation of stars. She whispered in my ear to never forget it. I asked her what it meant, but she was dead and her bones withered and old woke up and have been feeling rather queasy ever since. Read an account of a year walk by a man named Rom Romadel in an old book I came over in a used... Duh. Apologies. Read an account of a year walk by a man named Romadel in an old book I came over in a used bookstore. Romadal's story is little more than a tall tale told by a drunken elf. Most of them seem to be. Daniel sticks out. It haunts me. How to lecture on year walking. Several faculty members attended. They ridiculed me in front of the students. Another strange dream. I was doing my homework. I was stressed because the oil lamp was running out of oil. And when it did, a pale ho horse outside the window would come inside. The lamp burned out and everything went black. Woke up soaked in sweat. I must remember to buy groceries. Filled with the box. I have no clue how to open it. Frustrating. What jealous, small-minded, greedy creatures the faculty members are. And they will undoubtedly create small-minded, je jealous, and greedy students. Don't feel the need to share my, any of my research with the faculty anymore. They don't deserve to read something that m my hand has written. They would not understand anyway. The thought of what is inside the box is like an itch I, that can't be scratched. I've searched for references to anything about it, but I've found nothing that resembles it at all. Having more strange dreams. Something happened in those woods. Is your walking a mere vision quest? Are the visions brought by the lack of light and food? Yes, believe so. Not so sure. Dreamt of the rune stone. Was in the forest outside Vedtorp. Mrs. Bowman was walking up to me. I was very afraid. She said I had been a bad boy and broke the rules. Before I could defend myself and tell her that I did not mean to be naughty, she withered into dust. I found myself in front of the rune stone. The Grimm's eyes glowed at me. Woke up. I find myself thinking of the stone. What does it mean? How does it connect to the year walking? What did people do in those woods? Do not feel like sleeping tonight, drinking coffee and watching TV. If I stay awake, those dreams will stay away. Cannot understand much of my students' presentation today. Must sleep. Someone is watching me all the time. Got an email reminder to deliver the text for the game. Wrote seven or eight pages. Hopefully it's enough. Waiting. Don't know for what. Have a feeling that something is on its way. Received an on email today. Got over a thousand of these last night. The email seemed to have stopped when my inbox was full. Don't know what it could mean. Maybe it's a prank by my students, but they seem too unimaginative to come up with something like this. Don't think it'll end here. November 2nd. Is this some kind of threat? Called the priest, told him of my plight. He said that Vedtorp sometimes had a strange effect on people, but rarely lasted. Do not think he understands. I was going to ask him about the box, but decided to hang up when he suggested I should see someone. 
Woke up last night. Heard baby screams from beneath the floorboards. Panicked. Managed to pry up some of the floorboards. The screaming stopped. The Watchers. The Night Raven. The Huldra. The Brook Horse and the Church Grim. There might be others. I cannot be sure. Can they disguise themselves? Maybe they can read my mind. The Watchers. Because they watch. That's what they do. But is it all they do? Year walk equals system error. Year walking works but is never meant to. It's against the rules. The universe blinked its eye and someone crossed all the barriers that were known as time and space. The watchers are watching. But who are watching the watchers? How can you bend space and time? Gone into a heated argument with ES. He is surprisingly scornful of my theories. I must remember that he is an old man and he might not be open to new ideas any longer. He claims that it's impossible to gaze into the future. The future is not set, nothing happens until it happens. Of course it's impossible to look into the future according to logic, but I'm not sure they're playing according to our rules. The watchers are more than they appear, and less. They are real, yet unreal. They do not exist in the manner that this table and this chair exist. How do I know these things? Are they, are they my thoughts? Am I writing this? I certainly did not draw this, but yet it's right there on my notebook. Watchers or antibodies? Daniel broke the rules and he was punished. Held another lecture. The last one for a long while, it seems. It's been decided that I need a break. But it matters not. I have more important things to do. I've been an idiot. Someone is playing with me. These shapes. It's the same as the box. Did someone see me take it? Tried the symbols I have received, but the box remains shut. There must be more coming. Woke up last night. The telephone rang. Answered. Could not hear anyone. Hung up. It rang again. Answered. Could hear someone speak on the other side. Could not w make out what they said. The voice was too far away. Hung up. It kept ringing. Cut the cord. Bought whiskey. Bought food. People stare. Don't want to go out there again. Too many know who I am. If you break the rules, there will be consequences. Wish I had not cut the cord to my phone. Need to hear a human voice. Don't dare go out. At first I didn't notice. One of the paintings in my living room has been replaced. It must have happened during the 30 minutes I slept. Could not let my guard down. Someone was here. Or something. Will the antibodies come for me? Am I a virus in the eye of the universe? Boarded up the balcony and all the windows. Nothing can come in now. I hope. December 1st. Shouldn't be possible. That someone was here again. I'm definitely being threatened. There is a knife on my table. Old. But sharp? I realize that the knife is his. We are connected. The church is central to this, and yet it is not. Perhaps the church itself is not important, but rather the energy of the place. Perhaps the gate is always there, but it's not a gate. Gates are meant to be open, or closed. These are rifts in the fabric of the very existence of everything. But why allow it? Why does the universe, or God, or someone not shut the gate? If we were not meant to do it, why let us? I can hear the heart of the universe beating. What is happening? I feel like a worm under a big boot. I feel the shadow hanging over me, waiting to get crushed. She sings and I shall follow. She's trying to fool me, that I know. But I must get closer to her because then I get closer to the key. It leads me to the heart of it all. I didn't steal the box, 
because it begged me to take it with it begged me to take it with me. Dion survived all the watchers sent by the universe. He was lured by the temptress, brought the innocence to the pale horse, unearthed the parasite, and finally faced the master of them all. But yet he was destroyed. Could it have gone any other way? Was he doomed from the start? Am I doomed? Is the future set or can it be altered? Must help him. It's the right thing to do. There's a bond between us. Might have figured it out. Five watchers, five symbols. Which means there's one more coming. So tired. Can't seem to hold my thoughts for any period of time. Should probably eat more often. But I must resist. It's important that I come prepared. The heart beats stronger. But I will break it and see beyond everything. In the end, it was the nature of man that got daniel Must free myself of all desires. That's how they get you. Can love really be a weakness? Or a strength? And the poor girl. It just seems unfair. Is there anything I can do? If the future can be altered, why not the past? Am I a plaything, the part... Am I playing the part of the fool in the cosmic play? And if so, to what purpose? Disconnected microwave oven, just in case. Feeling absolute terror at the pop possibility that there is no purpose. No rhyme, no reason to any of it. Why me? The only way I can help him is if I break the rules. He will come at a price. What do I care if I can rise above it all? Saw her lifeless body. She is beautiful even in death. I've been crying ever since. All so needless, so cruel. Ready for anything. Don't care anymore. It's finally here. The last one. Woke up with it on my palm. Tried to wash it out. It's a tattoo. Tested them in all different kinds of combinations, but I cannot figure out how to do it. I must sleep. I will open the box tomorrow. Of course. So simple. Rotate the wheel and release when the symbol aligns with the grim. In the order they were delivered to me. But why is it empty? I thought it was Daniel all along. I thought he was here. But it cannot have been he who sent me the password. It doesn't make sense. If the box was empty, is it meant to be filled? I do not understand who sent the symbols. If it was not the boy, then it must have been the Watchers. But why? Are they toying with us? Helping us in some perverse, twisted way? From the get-go, he was doomed. They got him at the very thought of year walking. But I think the girl can be saved. I put everything he needs in the box and locked it. I will leave it where I found it, where all of this started. If my mind uh, is set on this, does it mean I am doomed too? The rift is open. It wants me to go through. Pack my things. I wonder if I will come back. December 31st. Soul Sorton. It's cold here. Wish I could light a fire, but I must do it right. Surprised how calm I feel. Only hours remain. January 1st. It's midnight. So... 
believe it's around November 2nd. No. So now we need to use the journal to help us open the box. Let's see. So this one is the first symbol. A triangle. Uh, let's see. Now, he says specifically that he's told to remember these symbols. Or they manage to stick out. So, for instance, this one is the second symbol. And there are five symbols for the five watchers. And next is the rectangle, which he did not draw. And next is the triangle in the painting that had been replaced. And finally, there is the last symbol on his hand. So, we put in each one of these symbols. Sorry, I'm looking at my piece of paper here. Keeps wanting to roll away from me. Next is the square. And then the triangle that's right side up. And finally, there we go. Fed Torp murderer executed. January 21st. Yesterday morning, Vedtorp killer Daniel Svedson was ex executed at Christianstead Prison. He was found guilty for the heinous murder of young Stina Nilsson last year. The death sentence has been criticized by the highly renowned Dr. Helmer Lundbuck, who stated that Daniel is suffering from an abnormal psyche. He seems to have problems discerning past from present and has visions of terrible creatures. Something not uncommon among schizophrenics. Daniel cannot be held accountable for his actions and should be given treatment at an institution for the criminally insane. The execution was performed by Gustav Dalbert. This had been his fourth, eth fourth et execution. Last year, he was to perform the execution of the notorious Lisa Rasmussen, who was charged with the murder of four infants in Veldtorp but who took her own life before the sentence could be carried out. Security has been improved greatly since. Daniel Svetson was composed during the whole process. Besides the slightly shaking hands so common among the criminal type, you cannot tell Daniel from any of the other young men. He sobbed loudly once he laid his head down low, but quickly regained his composure. A quick prayer and swift powerful stroke and it was over. According to the attending priest, Ganeth, Daniel's last words were, I should have killed myself, then none of this would have happened. You are long dead when I write this, and I have not yet been born. Yet we have a connection beyond life, death, space, and time. The impossible made possible by year walking. But the watchers always win. Even though you've not passed through the rift yet, they sense the urge and they want their sacrifice. I wish there, there could be another way. I am sorry, but for her there is still hope. You can save her. You know what you must do.
and there we go. That is the final end for Year Walk. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little narrative experience here. Something a little bit different for me to do. And I actually really like this game. It, it has a lot of really good horror atmosphere. It certainly makes you uncomfortable during the entire situation. And then when you discover about the journal and start reading through that, it slowly becomes much more sinister almost. And I'm actually, I'm very interested in looking at what else this, uh, this company has done. I looked on their website and looks like they've done quite a few like little experimental pieces they've done a radio play and some other games mostly for mostly for like the phones but this one's definitely one of my favorites and I always love a bit of folklore And if we want, we can walk again. But I think that's enough walking for one night. You guys have a good evening. Have a good Halloween. Like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz. This is the Slug Lady, signing out. Bye-bye.